We're gonna eat Stark. You want some lunch? Define lunch or be disintegrated. Okay. Welcome back to our two-part series concerning all the possible character lineups for Marvel's Young Avengers. Our previous video mentioned six possible characters and our theories on how they could make an appearance in the Young Avengers. Lucky for us, several MCU movies and shows are confirmed for the near future, but do not yet have release dates. One of these is the third and likely final installment of the Ant-Man franchise, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Scott Lang's daughter, Cassie, will return in the film, played by Katherine Newton. In Avengers Endgame, fans found that Cassie survived the snap and grew five years older while Scott was gone. Due to being aged up, Cassie is now old enough to fight on the Young Avengers and become the superhero named Stature, another member of the Young Avengers. Stature can shrink and grow much like Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania will almost certainly establish Cassie as a superhero so that she can be on the Young Avengers in a few years while her dad is off fighting with the normal Avengers team. Unless Cassie's story is similar to her comic storyline, meaning she joins the team after her father's death. Throughout this video, we have mentioned a few times that Iron Lad is an important character in the creation of the Young Avengers. However, this is not a character who we have any information of in the MCU. Many people assumed Ty Simpkins would be back to play Harley Keener and he might be Iron Lad, changing the name of the character. But all of the announcements have no mention of Harley Keener coming back to the MCU, so the team might assemble in various other ways, but we'll get to those possible assembly methods later. Riri Williams is a very new character to the comics. She is also known as Ironheart. She is the successor to Tony Stark and in Feige's words, has the most advanced suit of armor since Iron Man. Ironheart coming to the MCU means that Iron Lad may not be coming anytime soon. The Armor Wars series means that there would be three current characters in the MCU with Iron Man-like armor, and we don't need any more than that. But it is always likely that we'll see him pop up. Again, we will get back to that in a few moments. Ironheart has not been associated with the Young Avengers, but this is yet another thing that Marvel could twist. Riri is at the perfect age to be on the team without feeling out of place. On top of that, the character only debuted a few years ago and the MCU is quick to bring these characters in, meaning it is possible they want to have her in the Young Avengers. So that concludes the list of confirmed and rumored Young Avengers members in the MCU. Setting aside Iron Lad, let's briefly touch on Hulking and Marvel Boy, two other prominent members we have no hints about in the MCU. Hulking was born the son of Scroll Princess Enel and the Kree Captain Marvel. Marvel is a character who we have seen in the MCU in Captain Marvel. They gender bent the character, so they will either change Hulking's scroll parent to a man, or change Hulking's parentage entirely. Regardless of what they do, Hulking will be in the MCU in the coming years. A huge scroll storyline is coming to the MCU in a few years, that being Secret Invasion. Captain Marvel 2 will probably feature Kree and Scrolls as well, due to how connected that story is to her. Hulking's chance of popping in in the next few years is huge due to these stories. He is a key member of the Young Avengers, and he's also in a relationship with Wanda Maximoff's son, Wiccan. As mentioned, we already know that Wiccan is coming to the MCU, so it's only a matter of time before Hulking is brought in and he and Wiccan can meet. Now, let's talk about Marvel Boy. There have been numerous Marvel Boys in the comics over the years, but the one who became a Young Avenger was a man named Novar. Novar was a Kree who had his DNA altered with cockroach genes to give him insect properties. We know that Kree are in the MCU and they are definitely not done. We will be seeing them again. Novar was lost in the multiverse in the comics where he found Earth 616. This gives a couple of different options for how he can show up. Doctor Strange could stumble across him, but with America Chavez in the multiverse being in Doctor Strange 2, it is likely that they just stick to one member of the Young Avengers to prevent the film from being too crowded. He could also pop up in Captain Marvel 2 with the cliffhanger from the first film. There's also the possibility of the character showing up in Secret Invasion, but Captain Marvel 2 is the more likely one. Now, let's get back to Iron Lad, the key Young Avenger who we have no information as far as an MCU feature. The possibility is always in the air that he'll either pop up later, or the MCU will change the Young Avengers origin. Nathaniel Richards is the Iron Lad. Nathaniel is also a descendant of Mr. Fantastic's father. Mr. Fantastic's real name is Reed Richards. Reed Richards is a member of the Fantastic Four and Marvel's first family to be coming to the MCU in the coming years. As mentioned at the start of the video, Iron Lad gets saved by his older self when he finds out that he's destined to become Kang the Conqueror and forms the Young Avengers to stop him. Kang is going to be an Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, so the story of Nathaniel Richards may be told. 
Maybe Iron Lad will show up after Kang comes to the MCU, and we'll see Nathaniel try to stop his former self. Time travel is weird, so it's very possible that we see Kang try to stop Kang. It is shocking how well the comic Young Avengers story lines up with the MCU. It could probably be adapted almost exactly. Wanda goes mad in the comics and wreaks havoc, causing the Avengers to disband. The Multiverse trilogy will likely feature Wanda going crazy, and the Avengers won't be present for some reason. It doesn't necessarily have to be due to Wanda, but the Avengers just won't be there. Vision's body is still around. All they have to do is find his CPU and learn of the Young Avengers failsafe in him. So far, adapting the Young Avengers story is a one-to-one -one adaptation. But let's say that the MCU doesn't have the team assembled that way. The MCU is filled with characters and there are tons of villains throughout the MCU. If the Avengers are indisposed, a new team may have to assemble to fight a new threat. And if that doesn't happen, someone like Nick Fury may just assemble another team. He likes to do that. Well, that's all our thoughts on the Young Avengers for now. Thank you so much for watching. And please take a second to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos on your favorite MCU topics. Thanks again and have a great day.